First heat of, mount, of round number four is Renato Ariano, Matias Diaz, Sebastian Kreft, as well as Israel Eduardo. So some of the guys we've uh, we've already seen on the uh, GSS tour as well, correct, Lachlan? Yep. Now, like I said, we already went through uh, the trials in rounds one, two, and three. So plenty of action is already, uh, we already got it under our belt and we have those highlights for you. If you check out our website, ibatour.com, as well as our YouTube channel, which you should be subscribed to. Also, you guys, make sure you're uh, keeping up with our Twitter, our Instagram, and our Facebook for all the updates on the IBA Tour, wherever it is in the world. And you can see we have a pretty insane, uh, pretty insane views down here in Chile. Yeah, the surroundings are incredible here. It's like no other. <laughs> And the waves, the waves are good today. We've got about four foot, four foot sets, maybe a little bigger, and just um, good laughs. Now, Lachlan, uh, coming from Eureka after after leaving um, Gringo, you know, we weren't expecting the waves to be quite as good as there. But man, it's just like you said, it's really contestable out here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much a perfect wave for competing in. Like, um, it goes for a while. It's not short and. Um, you know, you can get good bowls, barrels. It's got a bit of everything, so you can sh sort of show, like, your true potential on this wave, I reckon. So this is uh, round number three, heat 24, because the guy's coming in. Sergio Luis won that heat over Sergio Alonso. And uh, Hugo Pinheiro uh, got third, Oscar Tapia in fourth. So we are into the fourth round. You heard the horn just now again. In red, Hanato Arellano. In white, Matias Diaz. Uh, Sebastian Kraft in yellow. All three of those riders are from here in Chile. And the lone Brazilian up on this wave, he is Israel Eduardo. Here we go. All right. Stalling. It's just waiting for one of these sections at the <coughs> end. Nah. Now let's talk about this wave here in Antofayasta as we see a, a rider in yellow. It's Sebastian Kraft. Just pulling off the back. Now this wave is, is not, it's very different from Gringo. It's not like a barreling, you know, uh, real steep wave. It's kind of a longer point wave and it does have some bowl sections but they're not always consistently in the exact same spot, correct Lachlan? Yeah, that's it. Um, unlike the last wave we surfed, um, it was more, more comes in on less of a shallow shelf so it doesn't jump up as much and sort of grinds along and um, it's a bit easier to ride I guess but um, it's harder to find the sections and harder to get more air off the sections. But like you said, this is a kind of a longer, almost like a, almost like a point break wave. It's a pretty long wave, and you guys can get quite a lot of bit of maneuvers in. Yeah, yeah, you get heaps of speed off this wave, and um, yeah, you can definitely get like more than one or two maneuvers on one single wave, which is good to see. So again, these are four-man heats, 20 minutes long, just over a minute into this first heat. Looking up to the heats coming up next to us. We have Charlie Chapelet from Union, Gabriel Brantas from Chile, Ian Campbell from South Africa, and Diego Roberto from Brazil. That's an, the heat after this. Two heats after this, we have Edwin Aldana, Lucas Noguera, uh, Matthew Vistot, and Hermano Castro. Heat number 28, George Humphreys, Manuel Cepeda, Diego Estevao, and Ben Slemain Adenane. Say that five times fast. <laughs> Oh, no way. And he's from Morocco. Okay. Now we have a rider up in blue. Let's roll. Nice little roll. Trying to link up into another section here. Could have it. Nice oh, and steep. Boom. Good. That was sick. Good ARS. Another forward ARS spin there in the white water. Again, that's the rider in blue from Brazil, Israel Duardo. So that should be a nice score. We got wide up now. Looking for a section. Oh, a nice flip. Spins back around. <coughs> into a roll. Looking for another section. Oh, another nice roll. So just like we talked about, I mean, these guys are going to be getting quite a lot of bit of maneuvers in these waves. Wow, right on the rocks right there. And uh, we're going to see multiple waves ridden at the same time. So you know, as it comes in like a point break, there, might, there could be up to three guys riding at the same time. So it's a bit of a challenge for the judges. And Chico and Craig and all those guys doing a, a great job over there. And uh, Chico's a silence, the silence Nazi up here, keep, keeping everyone quiet. Yeah, wants to make it. sure the judges are paying attention and, and the judges are having some uh, unique challenges here in Chile because of a uh, lack of internet. So all those guys are putting in the uh, the extra work and the overtime trying to uh, keep 
keep the event running smoothly. That's it. They got to be on their game for this wave. It um, yeah, like you said, because it goes this wave goes for so long, you can sort of um, can have a few people on on the wave at the same time. So this is Ryder in blue, Israel Eduardo. Nice roll there. He throws ARS, a forward spin in the white water as well. And that was clean. Yeah, that was real clean. He landed that well. Nice forward spin. So that should be a nice nice score. Still early in the heat, so should be happy with that. <coughs> Get a replay. This is a rider in white, Matias Diaz. He is a Chileno. Man, he, you know, he was really able to use the small lip there yeah. pretty well. Yeah, he did that well. That second roll was pretty good yeah. as well. It got projected off the lip. So three vertical maneuver four, actually. Yeah. I mean, to do three rolls and an ARS on a wave like that is, I mean, he's definitely capitalizing. So yeah. we're going to give you some scores coming through. We have a couple scores on all of them all the way in, but at the moment in first, in blue, a rider from Brazil, Israel Eduardo, with a 1.13 and a 7. Sebastian Kreft with a 2.75, but we are still waiting for a score for uh, our rider in white, Matias Diaz. <coughs> and I'm going to imagine that Matias Diaz is going to jump up there in the first place, or close to first place, with that, uh, with that way we saw where he had those three rolls and ARS. <laughs> Very scenic conditions, though. I mean, and everything in Chile is so, like, big. I mean, the waves are big, and, and these mountains and these sand dunes are just yeah. absolutely huge. And it's almost hard to gauge how big they are when you're looking at them, Lachlan. Yeah. But they're big. They're <laughs> if you had to walk up that, it would not be funny. Yeah. It would take a long time. <laughs> when you're out in the water, like, yeah, all your surroundings is just massive mountains. Like, you're looking at good waves, incredible scenery. You know, it's crazy. And, and for those of you who are watching our live webcast coming from Arica, as we see the rider in yellow, Sebastian. Sebastian Kreft up. Stalling up the top. Yeah, he did a good job just spinning, kind of waiting for it to bowl yeah, for him. Yeah, he's hoping for a section, stalling up. Oh, very nice. Ooh, that was a good bow. Oh, did a roll and then it Landed. almost jacked <laughs> up after he hit it. So he sort of got stuck inside the wave, like in the barrel. But um, yeah, he Up got until nice, that point, he was riding the wave well. Yeah, he got that nice nice barrel at the start. It was clean. So it should be a little score there. Well, Sebastian is a Chileno, so he probably has some local knowledge here. Once again, Israel, Eduardo in blue. And again, really able to get some projection, you know, just manually off his own power. Didn't really even have a lip there and was able to launch out. And let's see if it bowls up for him. I don't think it's going to. Uh, no. Nah. Just pulling off the back there. Okay, so we have a score for Mateus Diaz. Like I said, 7.38 highest score of the heat so far. He's currently in second place. Sebastian Kreff, 2.75. His second score has not come through yet. But, yeah, I mean, like we said, I mean, for those of you who weren't watching uh, the Eureka competition, we'll explain a lot of different cool things about Chile. As we see, Sebastian, nice yeah, little barrel there. Real good. Yeah, he did the roll. The roll was almost. clean. <laughs> Just a wave change. Yeah, on. it hit like a shallow bit of the reef and so threw over. We are going to update you with the score. Sebastian got a he got a six point six three on that last wave for that barrel one. ride and the roll. Because I guess you could say the spin, the barrel, and the roll were complete, and then it barreled over him and he didn't make it. So yeah. Currently in first, Israel Eduardo in second, Sebastian Kraft in third, Matias Diaz, he has only one wave, and Renato Arellano only has, I'm sorry, he has zero waves, so still a lot of uh, heat to come. We have 13 minutes to go. Still plenty of time. <laughs> so we were talking about, the, you know, these huge mountains and the huge uh, geographic features here in, in Chile, and these big mountains that are along the entire coastline, and that's what is, creates this the Atacama Desert, because none of the moisture from the sea gets over these mountains. It, as it rolls in, the fog, let's say, it hits these mountains and just comes to a complete stop. and It's not able to go up and over it because the cold, damp air always sinks to the ground. So just over that hill, there is zero moisture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. And we talked about it in Eureka. I mean, there's literally parts of this desert that it has not rained once in 300 years. That's crazy to think that, hey. 
Uh, yeah, no, I got up really early for a surf before light, and um, where I'm staying is about 200, 300 metres from where the break is, so had to get my wetty on, do it all up, and then chuck some shoes on, put a beanie or a hat on, <laughs> and I was still freezing. Especially when you get to the rocks and you're trying to walk on it with numb feet. Yeah. <laughs> so again, 11 and a half minutes to go. The lone Brazilian in first place, he has three waves. Sebastian Kreft needs a 4.51 to take over first place. Matias Diaz with only one wave, all he needs is a two. So he basically just needs to take off on a wave and he'll become advancing position. Yep. You know, the other thing, Lachlan, here in Chile, I'm noticing uh, if you go through the neighborhoods, you'll see people's gardens. and they, they all have their gardens completely fenced off. Yeah. Now, I don't know if that's because of a lack of water or they don't want anything hurting their plants. And we see, again, Israel Eduardo on his fourth Ooh, wave. Off. Look at this barrel. It's nice. No? Solid one. There we go. Good job finding that bowl section and being patient. Stalling up. Little spin. Some little tummy twirl. Yeah. <laughs> if it's in the white water, we can call it a tummy <laughs> twirl. I think it's, it's more just, fitting, don't you? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> trying to make the most Whoa. of it. Little roll off, a little bit of backwash from the rocks. Well, he's already in the lead and he's getting a lot of waves, so he's working hard out there. Yeah. And in these 20 minute four man heats, it's definitely more of a workout. These guys are paddling harder, working harder. Looking for the barrel section, he was nice and patient, waited, 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 ducked in there. Yeah. And he snuck in there really cleanly. Yeah, that was good. Um, when I was surfing this morning, I noticed it's, it's pretty hard to find those sections. Like they sort of um, pick up really quick. And um, yeah, so you gotta be real aware of where it's, um, where it's gonna break and what's gonna happen. So a 5.25 coming in for Israel Eduardo. Yellow, Sebastian Kraft. He needs a 5.63 uh, to take over the lead. Ducks out the back. Pulling off the back. <coughs> Got a few waves coming in out the back here. Here is Red. Renato's first wave. He Boys. waited a, 10 and a half minutes to catch a wave. He's got a good line. Oh. Look at this barrel. Get out. Nice. He makes it. Man, if he could capitalize on this with a couple spins in a roll, nah. which he... I don't, nah. I don't know Pull what happened. Back. White. This is Matias Diaz. Roll, flip. He's the one who had, remember, four vertical waves, vertical maneuvers. He had an ARS and three rolls. Man, I just don't know what happened to Hanato's wave. I mean, he got that clean barrel. He kind of came out through the white water, but then pulled out. I mean, you yeah. think he would have tried to put a stamp on it with a, a, one more roll or something? Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, it's... um. Seems like that, but um, when you're out there, you notice it's, here it is. And so he drops though. in. He's got heaps of speed. Good size set. Good wave. Stalls up for the section. Sort of comes out. Yeah, he got lucky to get around that. And then, yeah, pulls off the back. You think it's a mistake? Um, yeah, for his first wave, I reckon it is for sure. Um, he got it 8.2. 8.2 for it. Huge oh, score. score so They're I mean, loving the battle. I guess we're today. wrong. <laughs> That's it. Look at this section. Oh. Closing out Pulling for yellow, Sebastian Kraft. But still, I just, I still think, you know, Hanato, even with that great score of 8.2, I mean, imagine if he would have done one more roll or another spin, he would have, you know, yeah, would have had sure. close to a nine. Yellow, Sebastian Kraft. On a little insider. Oh, nice roll. Well, he needs to improve upon a 2.75, and I think he will. Yep, for sure. So scores consistently rolling through. Once again, all of our judges doing a good job today. These guys have been working extra hard because of uh, some challenging conditions. As we see one of them waving to me right now, Craig. <laughs> all right, yellow, Sebastian Kraft drops in right there in the pocket, rolls out of it cleanly. Yeah, that's good. So, um, yeah, this wave drains your energy. A lot because the paddle out's like a bit hard like you got to jump off the rocks and duck dive a few waves especially jumping straight into the cold water um, after you catch a wave because it's sort of it's almost pushing you in and further down the line so when you're paddling back out it takes a lot longer than you're thinking 
Well, there's the white. It's point break. With TSDS. Nice roll off that section. Stalling he needs a 3.95 to get into advancing position. It's seven minutes to go. Here we go. Stalling. Second roll. Second roll. Re Tommy twirl. Little spinner. <laughs> Tommy twirl. You love it, huh? <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it when you do it. All right. Even if you do it in the air, I'm going to call it. If you do it with 360 air, I'm going to call it. Oh, that was a sick tummy twirl by Lachlan. <laughs> <laughs> Looks freezing. <laughs> Sorry, Colin, this morning. Here we go in white. All right, I'm Matias Diaz. So he rolls off the first section. A 4.95 on this wave you're watching right now. So that puts him into first place. That big 7.38 really paid off. In second, Israel Eduardo, the Brazilian. He has a 7 and a 5.25. In third, Sebastian Kreft, the Chileno. He needs a 5.63 to get in advanced position. And Hanato Arilano only has one wave still, and he, and he needs a 4.05 to move up. Blue taking off here. He's got a section. Here we go. Oh, a nice roll. Was Man, that a fish? Did you see the fish? Yeah, I saw something sort of fly up in the water. <laughs> Could be a fish. I think a fish literally. <laughs> can we see the replay of that wave, please? Let's see the replay of this. After he does a roll, I think a fish jumps out of the white water. This just blows my mind. wonder if he gets a bit of an extra score for it. Okay, watch on the left. Watch on the left. There. There's uh, the fish. Or is it seaweed? Seaweed, I think. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought a fish jumped out of the white water at him. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was too because there's not too much seaweed around here. The water's not, like, pretty nice. There's not too much in there except for sea life. Sea Tons creatures. of sea life, especially up at uh, El Gringo. I mean, yeah. man, we had uh, so many seals and, and birds. Seals so, just playing in the water all day. So let's give you an update on the scores, guys. As Israel Eduardo, the Brazilian, in first place with a 7 and a 5.4. Matias Diaz with a 7.3 and a 4.95 in second. In third, Chileno Sebastian Kraft with 11.33. And Renato Arellano, the Chileno, he only has one wave at 8.2, so he needs a small score to move up. Yeah, 8.2. He, all he needs is a 4.1. He has four go. and a half minutes to go. Here he is looking Red for that 4.1 as Renato. A little spin. Looks like he's oh, looking for a driving section. driving for something. He's got it. Oh, boom. Can he ride out of it? Nah. Ooh. So he was looking for a 4.13. Do you think he got it, Lachlan? Um, no, I don't think so. It's going to be close, but um, I don't think so because um, it was the first invert of the day, so I reckon <laughs> if he landed, it would have been a high score. But um, no, nah, it seemed like the lip sort of landed almost where he did. Here we go, white taken off. Man, it's it would coming. be such a shame. Pulling off. Okay, so a score did come in. Hanato Arellano, 3.25, not 3 enough. 3.25. It would so be it such a shame to see him get an 8.2 and not make it through the heat. Can yeah, you imagine? I know. Well, what's this blue? Didn't quite see the start of that, but um, just pulling off the back there. I mean, this is a perfect example of different strategies in, in a surf or bodyboard contest, Lachlan. I mean, you see some of these guys with five, six waves, and we see Hanata Arellano, who only had one wave until a minute ago. He finally got a second wave 17 minutes into the heat. Yeah. So a lot of guys, including myself, believe in getting a wave in the first two minutes, trying to get a, a yeah. medium score, a five or a six, That's just it. so you can feel comfortable. Look at Sebastian Stalling. trying to stall in the white oh, water. Look at this. Beautiful roll. Boom. That was a pretty solid section as well. <laughs> so, nice tummy twirls spins. in the white water. Yeah, tummy twirls. I like it. It's growing. It's growing on me. <laughs> <laughs> now, I didn't make that up. I won't take credit for it. Ah. So, again, let's update your scores. Israel Eduardo in first place. Matias Diaz, the Chileno in second. Hanata Arlano in third. Scores rolling through again. Red. Two and a half minutes to go. Two and a half minutes to go. Renato Arellano looking for a 4.2. He's up on the wave. Stalling. Is he going to find? I mean, roll that section, you would think. Uh, oh, hey, nice. Yes. That was smooth. Very smooth. Maybe one Stalling more. Up. Another roll. 
Oh. <laughs> Shallow in that. Two minutes, eight seconds ago for Hernato. So again, we're waiting for that score to come through, but Sebastian with a 12.58. Israel Eduardo, 12.4 in second. Matias Diaz in third with a 12.3. And Hanato Orellano with 11.45, but that's not counting that last wave we just saw. As soon as we get that score, we'll give it through to you. There it is. 5.7 through for Hanato, the Chileno. Now up to first place now. Boom. Kaboom. Kaboom. <laughs> so a change of order from last to first. Yeah. So Israel being knocked, knocked down into third, so he needs to get another wave. One minute to go. This is the replay stalling up. <coughs> ARS lands nice and smooth. And another roll. Well, none of these guys are really safe. We have a minute, 10 seconds to go. Second place only needs a 5.58. That's Israel Eduardo. I'm sorry, third place. And fourth place rider, Matias Diaz, he only needs a 5.2. So, I mean, it's just a matter of, if a wave comes in the next minute, you know, Sebastian Kraft is going to be nervous. Yeah, for sure. Doesn't seem like too much coming, but we'll see. Well, I believe our heat timer is a little bit off. So. I guess we're 30 seconds off, but either way, winning the first heat of round number four, Hinato Arilano, and second, Sebastian Kraft.